Arrow fans, it's another episode of Arrow. This is quite possibly one of the best ones yet. I'm going to just put it on that pedestal right now because it was great. It had everything everyone would want in a comic book show. References, sex appeal, and good action. So let's just jump right into it. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, I do weekly Arrow reviews. And just so anyone doesn't know who hasn't watched my channel yet, this is going to be a spoiler review. So if you have not seen the episode, watch it first and then come back to me. But if you'd like to hear the way, the way I talk about stuff, let's just jump right into the latest episode of Arrow. Titled, Carto Mal Carlo, Mal Carlo Maltese. I am butchering this already. God, I need to write better. I have terrible handwriting, but let's just jump right into it. They changed the intro. <laughs> it, it took you two seasons and two episodes to do this, but I guess it's better now, so I guess that's fine. Here's hoping we get a Roy Harper opening one of these episodes. I mean, he hasn't been through as much, but one day he might. One day he'll get an intro of his own. I'm still cold enough for you, Colton Haynes. Laurel needs Wildcat. But she meets him first, and she's all big and bad and talking about stuff, like, how could you lie? He's like, everybody's got rage, and I'm here to help them, and I'm like, it's like watching, it's like watching the Emperor talk to Darth Vader about his problems, like, you gonna be mine one day. How you know that? Get out. Okay. Alright then, let's go. You know how that guy called Thea Mia? I was so, like... I'm, if you watch if you watch all the shows I review like Agents of Shield, you remember the face I made where they made comic book references like yesterday's like like yesterday's Flash, where they were like, oh I don't want to use even my honor like you stop that with that damn comic book references, cut that out, you stop it not really but stop it. I'm like Mia yeah, they about to change her name, or she gonna change it to something but something's about to go down and we need all the help we can get. Double crossed by what's his face. It has to deal with Amanda Waller. I, I, I honestly I wasn't even surprised. I was just watching it and I was like, I don't like him. He he he. But you betrayed that Diggle, baby. You don't betray that Diggle. Diggle's Diggle. He helped Joe ass for his wife. Laurel's attempt was so cute, but it's wrong. But this just goes back to a lot of things. That whole Laurel thing. I mean. Yeah, she failed in her first attempt, but she still wants to do it. One of the things I've learned in life is if you want to do something and in your heart of hearts believe that you can do it, and if it happens in a good way, then fine, but if it happens in the wrong way, and if it doesn't scare you away from it, then you're meant to do that thing. Honestly. Because certain things happened, something happened to me a while ago, and I made a kind of a, not a big mistake, but kind of like a small one, but it didn't terrify me away from the idea of still doing that thing. So as long as you make your mistake doing something that you want to do, if you make a big enough mistake and you still want to do it, then you're still meant to do it. And you want to do that. So kudos to Laurel for knowing that this is what she wants to do. She wants to avenge her sister. Oh, not adventure, but I get. Well, she does want to adventure, but she wants to follow in her footsteps. So, good for you, Laurel. I just didn't want some bad stuff to happen to Sarah, but that's okay. I'll get over it eventually. Thea's back, and man, is she different. Ooh, she's warped by Malcolm now. I'm not sure how good she can fight. I'm pretty sure she won't suit up this season. Probably. She doesn't even know about uh, Oliver and Roy yet, so. They'll probably maybe keep her as that kind of character that just helps out if something bad were to happen to somebody. I don't know. I just hope that she stays in this useful mentality and this useful physicality for a really long time. Because we need some strong, badass female characters on the show now. Like, pull a person of interest and have a whole bunch of other females on the show that can kick ass. Because it can't all be left up to Felicity. Laurel's got hero fire in her, and Wildcat's going to show her how to use that fire productively, and hopefully not to get her ass kicked. But, again, gotta give Laurel props. She got shit beaten out of her. But, she was like, I eat those. You wait till I'm canary again. Well, you wait till I'm canary now. And I'm like, go ahead, Laurel. Rock with your bad self. I'm proud of her. Legitly. Honestly. I really am. Nissa's back and she's drunk in love and starts causing trouble for next week. Let me just say that that, that I, I, I had a feeling she was coming because I'm like, huh, 
Sarah's been dead for a whole episode and some change, and Nissa still hasn't showed up. Maybe she hasn't gotten the memo yet, and here she comes in the Arrow Cave, all drunk, like, where is she? Where's my baby girl? I'm like, okay, put down your bow, sweetheart. It's okay. We're going to get her. And like I mentioned in my previous videos, the two words that basically mean no one dies in the, in the TV universe is Lazarus Pit. Nissa wants her body so that she can bring her to the Lazarus Pit. Because she's going to tell her father. She's going to tell her father Malcolm's in town. Which, really, it's like, why are you going back to Starling if everyone thinks you're dead? I don't know yet. But all in all, this episode was a great episode. What a great way to start the season. Like, you got Wildcat, who's co totally badass, and Laurel's looking for training, which means that she's going to have her own little montage. She's probably going to she's probably gonna pull the Roy treatment, and maybe she won't. Uh, she'll get useful, more useful as the episodes progress, but nothing too official until maybe next season. Because it took Roy, like, what, a season and some change to get this useful? He was introduced in season two, or one. It's only been three seasons. Three just stars. It's only been two. Yeah, like, a season and some change. Like, almost two. When they, when they introduced him, so... Probably season four is when they'll have her, or season four and a half. Roughly along those lines, but... Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below what you thought of the episode, and whether or not you approve of Laurel being Black Canary. I approve of Wildcat. I really hope he suits up somehow in a modern kind of wildcat suit. I mean, wildcat suit is basically, I think, like black leather, I think, and a cat mask. So, maybe they'll go that route, maybe not. But I still hope he suits up somehow with Laurel on a mission. That would be so awesome. And I want him and Oliver to fight. Like, that's what I want. So, let's hope that happens. Don't forget to check out my social media links. They will be at the end of the video, as well as other links down below that you guys should check out, as well as other stuff at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching Arrow. Thank you so much for watching me. Don't forget that through good times and bad times, always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next week for more Arrow.